haven't even read my And I'm not even going to. Do you really think that anyone will take you seriously in this look? What's wrong with my What a disgrace! You came here like to the party, and this university is a serious institution which annually graduates leading experts in their fields. Not like free-walling girls like you. This is Martin, it's my usual clothes. Because of revealing clothes like this, harassment records keep appearing in use. Do you want to be the next one? That's it. As for today, I forbid coming to my class in this look. No makeup, no shirt skirts like this, nothing like this. Is that clear? All this is forbidden. And it's not only about you, Miss Wilson. It's for everyone here. Learn from the example of Julia. This is how serious students should look like. Mrs. Martins, it's illegal. There is no rule in the university charter that forbids female students from wearing this. Oh, if no, then I'll make a new one from today. And if you, once again, will embarrass this institution with this look, I give you my word. You will be thrown out of here straight away and go to streets where you belong to. Girls, we have a problem. What are you talking about? Mrs. Martins, what right does she have to tell us what address? And I'm not talking about my task work. This is absolutely sexist. But she said that we would be expelled. We won't get expelled if we act together. Let's hold a real demonstration in front of the university. If we draw attention to this problem, we'll be hurt. Well, are you with me? I don't know. We have to prepare. But today I have a test club. And I have a math class, a library. Okay, I'll do it myself. <sighs> Bye. The main thing is to come to the university at 12 and support me, please. Okay. Yes. What I... Uh, we agreed to demonstrate at 12, right? Mary, it's just... Um, we graduate soon and... Um, we don't want any problem. You tell me. I'm going for an honest degree. But this is a matter of principle. Why should someone have to tell me what I should wear? You tear up my posters. Girls, did you do this? I did, Miss Wilson. And as I see, you don't care about your success at all. I care. But principles are more important.
And today she was going to demonstrate and maybe even revolt against you, Mr. Queens. Nonsense. We just wanted to defend our right to wear what we want to wear. See? What a brat. Did you see her short skirt she came in today? Maybe that's how she got her good marks. I urge you to expel this student for her immoral behavior immediately. Mr. Queens, please don't listen to her. We just, we tried to... This girl is a spot on our snow-white reputation of this university. Think about what they will say about us. Miss Wilson, I will give you one more chance. If you come tomorrow dressed like that, I will... We will not let you take your final exams. But Mr. Quince... That's all. Thank you. at Miss Wilson today. Now we are proud to say that she's a student of our university. You know? So if everyone is here now, we can I start our test on outstanding economists and their role in the development of a modern market economy. And the first student to start will be... Yes, Miss Wilson, please. So today I want to talk about a few famous people. They all are women who played an important role in the economic growth of our country. You can see Louise Goldman. Her tax reform has allowed hundreds of citizens to enjoy their vacation near the beach, by the sea. <laughs> and this is Anna Robertson. She manages one of the largest banks in our country. Mrs. Sylvia Jones, who heads one of the largest ministries in our country. They all inspired me so much. I analyzed their story, successful story, and understood that they never give up on their principles. They were humiliated and harassed but with their efforts and abilities, they prove to everyone intelligence, wisdom, and responsibility have no gender. So they did the hard work, but they always look beautiful. They inspired me not to be afraid of my femininity, because it doesn't matter what you're wearing, it matters. It matters who you really are. You are expelled immediately! Yes, Mr. Queens? Yes, we are disappointed in you, Miss Wilson. And we don't want to see you on this university again. Then expel me with her. Enough silence. This woman is sure that a short skirt is to blame for violence. Girls, we deserve to be ourselves. We will expel all those who stand up for this nonsense. Isn't it, Mr. Queens? Come on, it's time to have our say. You are a disgrace for entire education system. While looking like that, your only place is on the back seat of the car. We will tell everyone about you. How you seduce the best students and professors for the sake of higher grades. How you interrupt lectures. How you party all night and do anything but studying. You hear everything well, Mrs. Jones. I heard everything very well, Miss Wilson. According to the professor, then I also should be fired. Um, by the way, I forgot to clarify. The ministry headed by Mrs. Jones is Ministry of Education. 
Am I too a disgrace to our educational system? Oh no, uh, of course not. That's right. According to Mrs. Martins, Mrs. Jones are also a stain to be removed because she has not seen anything in people but clothes and uh, hairstyles. And she doesn't notice that the best we have is that we're capable of. And like the rector who was ready to expel his best students, isn't that right, Mr. Queens? Oh, oh, oh no, uh, Mrs. Jones, of course not. Um, you, you, you are right. Um, this, this, this Mrs. Mrs. Martins will be fired because of gross misconduct. And, and you girls can wear whatever you wish. Great decision, Mr. Queens. And to clarify the situation, we will conduct a full investigation into the staff at your university. And I have great doubt that with your moral qualities, you will pass. Are you stalking me? I know everything about you, Martha. Where you live, what you like to eat, your favorite perfume, absolutely everything. What do you want from me? Tell me, Martha, where am I? <laughs>